welcome in this video we'll be looking at some GSAT examination questions some past paper questions just to show you how you answer them and depending on where you're located really um, for example in North America if you are under 12 years old kindergarten to 12 years old um, this this uh, these type of questions would be of benefit to you now GSAT is really the um, examination that 10 to 12 year olds take in Jamaica before going to a secondary school or what you would call in the United States middle school all right good now let's get into it um, here we are asked here in question this is the first question find the sum of and here we have 24.07 8.24 105.007 3.8 find the sum means to add the word sum whenever you hear that word it means to add now some persons may be wondering why do I have this chart here the place value system now I want you to have a relationship on what you're doing when just adding numbers you may be given a question like this in the exam but um, if it's giving you a problem it's nice to have a picture it's nice to have a picture of the place value system chart in the back of your head so le let's look at how we go about this quickly here I'm going to my first number is 3.8 now based on where the 3 is located and if you notice 3 is located right before well right next to the decimal point it's in front of it rather the three is in front of the point so on my place value chart sorry about that on my place value chart I am going to put the three right and remember this orange vertical line this vertical line here the orange one represents my decimal point so right here I'm going to put my three and it would be point eight so the vertical line would be the point and to the right of the point in my tenth column I would have my 8 okay so I would place my 8 there now if you notice I'm going up from bottom um, I would have 105.007 so if you notice the 1 would be in the third column to my left of the decimal point and we know that is the hundredths column so let, let's just fill in that uh, my point is here so to the left of my point I have a 5 in that column which is the ones column and then in my tens column I would have a 0 and then in my hundredths column I would have a 1 now to the right of the point in my tenths column I would have a zero then I would have another zero in my hundredths column and in my thousandth column I would have a seven okay now in my in going up the next digit the next number is 8.24 so if you notice to the left to the exact left of my decimal point I have a eight so I'm going to put an eight right next to my orange column because this column is the decimal orange column here this line is my decimal point and then to the right in my tenths column I would have a two and in my hundredths column I would have a four and then my last number now is 24.07 so in my units column I would have a four right next to the decimal point and in my what's this now my tenths column I would have a two so I'm going to place my two there and now to the right of my decimal point in my tenths column I would have a zero and then I would have a seven in my hundredths column now these numbers we have placed them in the correct columns in our place value chart now it's easy now to just some add them up all right so let's look at how we go about it here in my thousands column I have only a seven okay so since it's only seven here then I would have to place my seven there and then moving over to my hundredths column because when we're adding or subtracting we're we're moving from our right to our left okay now here I have a seven and a four and a zero so since we're adding we're just going to add them up seven plus four so you can call yourself seven and then add four fingers to that so seven plus four will give us 11 11 plus 0 is 11 okay 
so in this column we, 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 we got 11 so check this out now since I got 11 I'm going to place my 11 right here now I am in the hundredths column so this one here is my hundredths column okay that's my hundredths column and then this this one this other one there would represent my tenths column okay my tenths so the one here to my right I would place it in this column the hundredths column okay so I'm going to place that one right there and then the one to the, the one to the extreme left I'm going to carry that one in my tenths column cool good now I have completed um, the addition in my hundredths column so I'm moving over to my tenths column so I'm saying one here this eight here rather let's start from the bottom so eight plus zero is eight and eight plus two would get a ten ten plus zero is still ten and ten plus one would give us another eleven so when adding my tenths column when adding my tenths column I would still get 11 here <clears throat> so I'm going to write down sorry let's write down or 11 so I got an 11 again so let's put it down here that's my 11 now if you notice which column I'm in I'm now in the tenths column okay and I've gotten 11 there so again now this one here to my extreme right since I'm in the tenths column this would be my tenths column okay as it is here since this is the column that I'm in now if you look to the left the next column would be the units so obviously this one here that I've gotten would fall in the units column okay good so all I'm going to do I'm going to drop this one now since the total amount that I've gotten in this column is 11 then I'm going to drop this one here and then I'm going to have to carry so I'm going to drop this one here in the tenths column right there okay and then oh, oops let me just change the color and this one here now that would fall in the units column I'm going to drop it up there okay good now let's check on the values in our units column now I have a 3 plus 5 would give me an 8 and then I have another 8 here so 3 and 5 is 8 then another 8 would give me 16 and then another 4 16 plus 4 would give me 20 plus 1 would give me 21 so if you notice carefully what I have here now in my units column I have gotten 21 okay I have gotten 21 in my units column and again since I'm in my units column the digit to my extreme right would be my units so this would be my units column this digit must 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 be in my units column and then since it's a double digit that I got then the next column going to my left would be the tens column so this should be carried over to the tens column all right now good let's just, just deal with that quickly so since I got 21 a total of 21 when I add up all of these digits digits here I'm going to leave the one here so one should be there and then all I'm going to be doing now, I'm just going to simply carry my 2 in my tens column. All right. So I'm going to carry my 2 and place it in my tens column right there. Okay, good. Now I have completed the addition in my units column. So I'm moving over to my tens column now. So I'm going to say 0 plus 2 will give me 2 and 2 plus 2 will give me a 4. So since 4, if you notice, oops, sorry. If you notice in this case I I got a 4 and now when I have added the, all the numbers in my tens column I got a single digit unlike what I've been getting from before you notice in each column that I've been adding I've, I've been getting double digits so I had to carry the digit to my extreme left in each case but since I've gotten only a single digit in this column I'm going to place that digit in the respective column that I'm in so when I add the digits in my tens column for example I got a 4 a while ago so I'm going to place my 4 right there now when I move over to my hundredths column there is only a single digit there and that's one so there's nothing else to add to one so I'm just going to bring down my one okay good so my answer as we can read it here my answer would be one oops sorry let me change let me just change the color so my answer would be one four 
1 and if you remember I said this vertical orange line was my point so I have to place the point there and I would have a 1 1 7 so my answer is 141.117 that's my answer okay bye bye thank you